People of God, we are back with a video before you. I, Apostle Daniel and Prophetess Annie, are happy to speak to you. Amen. Long time no see. Long time no see, people of God. The Lord is good in 2024. The Lord is good. Amen. It's a new year. Happy New Year, by the way. A little bit late to say Happy New Year is 19th January, but it's still the first month of the year. May God bless you and prosper you this year. Amen. So we want to make this video today to speak a little bit about... Um, first of all, we want to ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, click the bell icon so that you can follow our updates on YouTube. Amen. And support, uh, support the ministry. In the, when I say support, I mean that you subscribe, you leave a comment, you put a like, you do something, you are active with the videos that we are sharing with you, people of God, and everyone else who is watching. So we see now, is it two weeks ago that uh, BBC came out with this reports and uh, this, all these articles on uh, TB Joshua, whom the Lord has have exposed in many ways through our ministry. Amen. He passed away in 2021, wasn't it, uh, Prophet Zani? Wonderful God. And of course, as the Bible says, many things are coming out, more and more things. Many so-called disciples and other people have been working under his so-called ministry are now revealing and exposing in details mm -hmm. what they have been doing in this ministry when it comes to faking miracles, uh, selecting and pushing aside whom they should present as being healed and not and so forth. Mm -hmm. You can read. BBC has much details about that. Actually, very good uh, journalistic uh, work. And don't you say that this is persecution against mm -hmm. the saints or this is persecution against the ministers of God because that's, you know, not only is it rubbish, and, uh, but it's shameful really to speak in that way. We all know that the media can can take sides and so forth. But when it comes to this a fake occult satanic priest and preacher mm -hmm. as T.B. Joshua, this is no persecution against the people mm -hmm. of God at all. Because this man was a satanist with no power of God, with no anointing of the Holy Spirit, who was there to deceive you. And the Lord took him away. I shared a prophecy with you many years back, many, many years back, some of you, many of you remember it. And we have this video on YouTube, we have this video on Facebook, where I said that it's better that, the Lord said to me that it's better that T.B. Joshua dies than that he continue, and that he proceed with witchcraft and he passed away some time after, you see. So I encourage you and I also want to take some time, I didn't take time to read all these reports and articles that BBC have shared. So I will also, I would like to look a little bit into that. Do you know what the Bible says through the apostles? That people like T.B. Joshua and other fake preachers of this world, it will be evident, meaning it will be exposed what they are doing, you see. So these people will always be exposed. And now you see more of the filth, more mm -hmm. of the dirt is coming up to the surface. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, it's not so good and it's not so positive for the people that still after being warned, still after being warned in love and mm -hmm. with the rebuke of the Holy Spirit, when ministers of God, meaning that the Holy Spirit of God have been using these ministers to warn you and the Lord even allow evidence to come out the Lord you, you even see that this when it comes to TV Joshua he's not the only he's not the only fake preacher of this world but when it comes to him he even passed away like that man who he present himself as mm -hmm. almost as uh, immortal and you still support him and people are still supporting him I think that's not only is it a shame but it's very sad for the heart of the ministers of God and for the hearts of the children of God who are interceding and they are praying that people should wake up and all the evidence 
are on the table, on the table. but people they hold fast to mm -hmm. no is papa no we want to stick to the <laughs> prophet like that other like that other uh, actor down in south africa they have to stick to him that to stick to that that person to that false messiah but praise the lord god is a good amen hallelujah do you have something on your heart as well, uh, Prophet Sani? Uh, you know, like you have been saying, you know, God exposed TV Joshua, you know, he called him for repentance. Many chances. Mm. One, two, three, for many years. You are not the only one that spoke against TV Joshua. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, uh, and God spoke to Apostle Daniel. Amen. He said, it's better that he dies. Mm. Do you understand? God is going to be arrested. We should all these things. Even that God so hard, he will not help. The politicians in Nigeria are into it. The deputy, the president, they have been, you know, they took destiny of people to mm. become who they are today. So who will arrest him? So God spoke to his servant. It's better that he died. Mm. BBC have been working for many years against him. Do you understand? Mm. But to no avail. Mm. No progress. Nothing happened to that day, wicked man. Mm. So God Almighty came in the scene. He terminated C.B. Joshua. Mm -hmm. He terminated the work of the devil. He terminated the satanist. Amen? Do you understand what's happening? So it's like, God is giving many chances. He's looking what is happening on earth. Amen? I want to give you the chance. He go to prison and be persecuted. In, you understand what is happening? But God said, no, I'm going to use now my, my servants to go and say, this is better than he dies. Because all the info do not work. Do you understand? The more we wait, and people say, look, he's still standing. Mm -hmm. You are the one say he's still standing against God. Mm -hmm. So God show his mighty hands. He will move him. And everybody quiet. Mm -hmm. Who is defending TV Joshua? It's you. That these people, they are still standing, not him, because he's obviously dead. But these other fake preachers, American preachers, other preachers in the African continent are still standing because of Predominantly two things, money and followers. Exactly. And those two things, they also go goes together, they are intertwined. Mm -hmm. Because the followers are the ones that support them with money, the upholding them with money. Mm -hmm. So as long as the money is coming in and the supporters are there, followers are there to praise them and to, like they mm -hmm. literally do, they praise they and they actually them. worship. They worship them. Tibi Rosha was worshipped. Mm -hmm. He was in place. Make no mistake about that. He was in place of Christ, as the Bible says, when the Bible is using the word Antichrist. Mm -hmm. That word, if you look up that word and you dig down into the meaning of that word, that word means in place of Christ. Christ. Antichrist is a person that takes the place of Christ. Mm -hmm. But it also means that they will be worshipped. They will receive mm -hmm. the glory for the rubbish they are doing, you see. Mm -hmm. And this is how people are worshipping these people like T.B. Joshua and... Benihin and Bushiri and you name it, they are so, the list is so long that we will have to sit there and talk for hours. And also those people that don't, we don't even know about because we really? don't, we don't have, I and Prophet Sani don't have insight into everything. We have insight into the things that the Holy Spirit has and that he wants to reveal to us mm -hmm. for the sake of his children, for the sake of the body of Christ, for the church, you see. Exactly. So we better pray and we better heed the voice of the Holy Spirit and we better correct our hearts before the Lord mm -hmm. and make sure that our hearts are obedient to the word of God and that it's open to for repentance and open for the word of God and not for our own words and ideas. Mm -hmm. Amen. Exactly. So, uh, yes, there are many things going on. I also prophesied about a, a lady that has been in that ministry. And that prophecy also came to pass. Came to pass. Glory to God. <laughs> the Holy Spirit gave me that uh, word uh, for, for this woman that she was going to be popular. And now that word has even come more to pass now Whoa. because mm -hmm. BBC is a very... A, a great media actor so if BBC is sharing something then things will go very viral you see and they have pretty much credibility for the journalistic work that they are doing so yes people of God continue we need to continue to pray we need to continue to seek the Lord and as I said to that we correct our hearts or we allow our hearts to be open to the Word of God to the voice of the Holy Spirit and to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and not inspiration or what everyone else is saying in your church or in your community or 
in the maybe in the ministry you are following following because men is not nothing else than men and god is god amen, amen. <laughs> hallelujah so we can see many of you many followers amen you maybe not know who we are this is apostle daniel i am prophetess annie hagerud uh, it's important to walk in the spirit amen so when you come in this ministry you have so many expectations we do not operate like others Amen. So do not expect to have always a word of prophecy. You know, people that guide you all the time. We want you to be in the how this is self-standing. Mm. You know, independent. Mm, independent. To, yeah. You know, we want to learn you how to work with God to be free. When God set you free, you are free indeed. Amen. Uh, I want just to share something very quickly. Uh, um, something happened this night. Uh, I saw many people and I see the atmosphere, the wind of the spirit. As I was there, I was in a gathering with people, amen. So I saw a snake falling down from the air, from the sky, or you know, from the air. A big snake, you gray color with sky. I mm. share with Apostle Daniel, and you fell on my lap, um, and you were so scared, and you ran from me. Hallelujah. I want to say, you people attacking us, you can't stand the power of God, amen. We don't want you to die, we want you to repent, to come to God. I want just to say, the people that follow the first prophet, they are not innocent people. Those that support of followers, they are not ordinary people. They have the power of witchcraft. That's why you see, they, they defend the people. Many of them have sought the kids, the family, the nieces, the, the nephew. They have done it. So you see, when you expose TV shows, so you are exposing them, in fact. Mm. Do you understand what's happening? So that's why we share do not go into distraction. Wash. Pray and wash. Read your Bible. Amen? Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's a good uh, encouragement. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you said, many those people they, that are on purpose after the Lord is exposing things mm -hmm. continue to follow and protect and defend these fake ministers of course there is they have some interest themselves and exactly. they are into some mm -hmm. really dark stuff themselves you see maybe there is and also some people out of pure shame yeah. they don't want to admit because <laughs> if Tibet Joshua is the satanic priest then Benny Hinn is also a satanic priest. Oh, and if Benny yeah. Hinn is a satanic mm -hmm. priest, mm -hmm. if he is deliberately working for people to go to hell, then also T.D. Jakes is a occult priest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, homosexual, yeah, yeah. I think that his brother yeah. Joel Osteen is as much homosexual as him, probably. The Lord knows. But it's also, this is actually a common trait for people that serve the devil, mm -hmm. to be homosexual, you see, because Satan is the pioneer and father of homosexuality so of course his servant will practice such uh, abhorrent things exactly so to, to to go ahead with what i saw this night mm -hmm. the first uh, reptile that fell was the snake and then somebody was standing there there like a garment a man african man with garment these are the things of the spirit it belongs to the white side it meant to the light and then he was he was speaking about bird these people, the people can follow you, people can be your friend. They are witch. Do you understand? Mm. They can dress very nice. They're, they're in the society. Many people in, are involved in darkness. Mm. So the man was telling me that many birds, you know when the bird fall, it becomes like stiff. Mm. Many birds are in the air. People are going, wake up! Pray in your con congregation. Mm. Pray in your family. Hold your husband, hold your kids and pray. The time are bad. Thank God the snake fell. The one that was blocking something for me or was in mission against me and my family fell. It was a snake. This very night, as I'm talking to you, wash and pray. Many people are very busy, man of God. Mm. They go in YouTube, they follow who prophesy. They forget that the, the word of prophecy is in their mouth, close to their hearts. Mm. They look just who is prophesying, who will tell me about my future or my past so I will believe. No. Will your Bible trust God yourself? Mm. Amen? And uh, those people that share YouTube videos, TikTok videos, and on other social media platforms, they know that if you are looking for prophecy, they will make a video about prophecy. Exactly. If you are looking, if it's in the wind, or if it's like fashion to speak about healing, they will make a video about healing. Exactly. So you cannot trust in that, you see? You cannot trust in that. You can only trust in the leading and the guiding of the Holy Spirit. You see? You can only trust in the Holy Spirit in your own heart. That He will lead you and guide you. And uh, I think that if you are a person that 
if you are if if it's prophecy that is important to you mm. then you need to go and correct yourself and begin to expose your heart before the lord because we are not supposed to go around and look for prophecy prophecy is something that comes to us exactly. maybe we have been seeking mm -hmm. god and god can use his servant or to prophesy to you or he can give you a prof prophetic word directly mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that we are going around and all our life is about getting a word of prophecy exactly although it's also good to seek the prophetic gift and the prophetic word as the mm -hmm. word of god says mm -hmm. amen mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, what else do we have on our hearts uh, today? Maybe Amen. a lot. <laughs> a lot. We believe you are doing very well. Amen. Amen. The man of God, Moses, mm -hmm. went for many days, 40 days, on the mountain, mountain mm. The people on the knew he was absent. Is if Apostle Daniel did not share anything or prophetess and do not make a video, or really say a word of prophecy, what is happening? You have shepherd. God gave you shepherd. Hallelujah. It's not to make milk you. What is it, milk? Mm -hmm. Every single day with word of prophecy or the word of the Bible. No. What you have to teach you is you are supposed to have it, take it, take the tissue with you and live with this. You know, your every day, your man of God, you have to have me with this one. Amen. No, proceed. I think it's uh, it's good what you're saying. Do you understand? That's why we say we will draw a bit. God said, withdraw yourself. It's 27 December 2023. Mm. I was supposed to come back and wish you happy new year. Amen. God said, withdraw. If the shepherd do not come before you, you are looking for mama, you are looking for daddy, TV Joshua. You want to worship man on earth. Mm. You want a God on earth. God did not call you. You are listening to my voice. You are a man, you are a woman. If God has called you, do not become God yourself. Do not become a small Jesus. Do not become a small God or a small Moses. They become uh, a Bob prophet of the Bible. Mm. They call the step Elia, Jacob. They have those surnames, their nicknames they come mm. with. And they surpass even the prophet in the Bible. Mm. Do not follow such people that want to surpass. The people on the Bible, in the Bible. Surpass the prophets of the Bible. They cannot even live up to one millimeter or how the prophets of old lived. Mm -hmm. So it's just uh, So do not do ridiculous. it. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So when you do not see something in the ministry or you are looking the lights, you know when people put the lights, people promote them. As we say, we do not promote what now. I mean, like what you want you, is, is you are, if you want to pull like you pull like if that fifty hundred you want to go and look I'm seeing some common man of God oh just fifty likes oh the people are not looking for God that no after the spirit of God that's after noise entertainment mm -hmm. and it's yeah sorry to no, go on, go on. to cut you but it's a manifestation what you're talking mm -hmm. about now mm -hmm. it's a manifestation of the weakness. Very. And it's a proof mm -hmm. that you live and you want to exist in the weakness of men and simultaneously claim that you have the power of exactly. God. Exactly. It's a shame. Shame. That's a big shame. Shame. The Bible says when you are weak, we are strong. Hey. The Bible says that I provide my strength into your weakness. Hallelujah. I don't provide my strength into something that you created. Many likes so many people following you. In your own strength, which is nothing than weakness and foolishness. Mm -hmm. So you want to exist in that weakness and you want to glory in that, in that weakness as if that is a strength. Exactly. Instead of saying that, hey, mm -hmm. I might have 50 likes or I have one like. Or I don't even have any like or followers. Mm -hmm. But I know that God called me. Hallelujah. I know that the Holy Spirit said to me, I'm a pastor. I'm an evangelist. I'm mm -hmm. a prophetess. Mm -hmm. I'm an apostle. Mm -hmm. I'm called to do this and that. Mm -hmm. And it's up to God up to that God. things will manifest. What's up to me is that I obey his word. Yes. Just like I am prophetess and I obeyed the mm -hmm. word of God when we started this ministry mm -hmm. platform. First of all, first and foremost, on Facebook, was it in 2017? Correct me if I'm wrong. Right. October, maybe. Right, man of God. <laughs> October 2017. And we begin to share live videos Hallelujah. with a few followers. Mm -hmm. And a few followers, a few sheep that was blessed with what the Holy Spirit was doing. That was blessed with that that the Yeshua used his servants and people were mocking us. People around us, what, what are you doing? And 
people came to say uh, to my wife i think it was to you one of our friends said what people are saying now what are you and then daniel doing what we are doing is that we are obeying the word of god and that we don't need the evidence or we don't need uh, exactly. Exactly. so and so many people mm -hmm. liking us mm -hmm. to confirm that God is using us. Hallelujah. That's yeah. on the level of men. <laughs> I don't say that you should not try to. You can promote. We use marketing techniques for many things in the world. But that's not a confirmation that the Holy Spirit have called you. Exactly. It might be the opposite. Mm -hmm. It might be the opposite. That if God had really called you, maybe a few people will listen to you in a certain time. Maybe another time many will listen to you. Exactly. You see? Do Where, not force. Yeah, do not force. Do not force. Hallelujah. Uh, Man, I want to go a little bit back also. We spoke about uh, the last TV show. Mm. Uh, when we look at the video we shared before, I have been saying people will commit suicide. Mm. Because the shame, I said, he will be exposed. Mm. Amen. Do not commit suicide. You see, people are trying to defend, try to prove that he's a man of God because they have been advertising him. Mm. They put in the front. Even if you, you and they say that they are prayerful. Mm. So if you have been so prayerful, why you didn't know that the man is a pedophile? Why you didn't know that the man go in the mountain and sacrifice people? Or, why, or, mm -hmm. or simply, yeah. Why didn't you know that he will pass away at least? Exactly. Why didn't you? That God, we, you know, why you didn't know that the man was doing wicked things? So now you are busy making video on YouTube defending the man. I'm seeing some video where. So that's what I said, they have been there for many years, if they have not been raped. No, because you do not have the grace. They, the people that they have been raping, they, there's something that they have that they need. So you have been there, they didn't rape you. Eh? They did not uh, take your destiny because you have nothing. Amen. Why they take somebody's destiny? Because what you have, you have is great. Do you understand? The people that have been, the, the victims, are people that regret destiny. So me, if I'm a witch, and see something that I need for, for my greatness in what I'm doing. I will look for one that has what I'm looking for. Mm. I didn't see me. And there have been abusing thousands of visitors there. You will see, see your life. I'm, listen, eh? I so school when people be shot. The prophecy is there. People who's ready, they do not believe they are going to clean up that property. Mm. They are going to go and look the mountain. Show us the shrine. It's coming. You are still making video. Your video means nothing. You are going to get money from Facebook, YouTube because you make some video. That's all. Mm. They are going to clean up every shit. And I say body parts mm. at school one. I repeat, they are killing human beings at school one, Nigeria, Lagos. Mm. I am prophetess. And, and I say in the prophecy, I'm seeing journalists. I'm seeing them putting this evidence on the table people will see do not quite what commit suicide remain in shallow god you make a mistake oh so we have been there we didn't know hallelujah when they will burn down the things people will begin to the destiny the thing that you know your life has been shrouded on some people there mm. you struggle and you have been experiencing accidents since we we visited today the, the wicked TV Joshua. Mm. And I say a lot that in uh, necromancy, how you say this? Uh, you speak on necromancy. necromancy, I think. Yeah. When you when you go to the dead, to the grave, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything will be on the stable. They use necromancy power is the spirit of death. When you die, the day. And then you know, like this. Mm. When TV Joshua died, they put the body there and they will go and kneel down. It's mm. necromancy. Mm. They operate with the spirit of darkness. Mm. Amen. So I repeat, repent. There's no shame. Why you want to defend a wicked person? You have the right to say, oh, I, I was wrong. God is calling you. I say, last call. Mm. We don't listen because you believe in the, the crowd. You believe in the crowd, God kill him. If you swoon and say, it's better than die. But all the, he said, okay, I have given many prophecies just to help you people. But you don't want to listen. I will kill him. He came to pass. Mm. You, mm -hmm. you know, all those things you are saying now are mm -hmm. very good. These are, many of those things you are talking about are manifestation exactly. of what is coming out now and has come out so far and that will come out Praise after. God. Amen. But what about in the time when the, that false prophet was existing and doing his ministry? Mm -hmm. What about not only listen and pay heed to the warnings that the Holy Spirit was giving you through mm -hmm. various servants of God? Mm -hmm. I don't know other people but i know what the lord gave to me mm -hmm. and i know that when the holy spirit gave me something mm -hmm. 
if it's the, really the Lord speaking to me, I know very well, and I will not be afraid to share it, no matter what mm -hmm. is uh, what uh, it will be about or what the, <laughs> the topic is, mm -hmm. because I love the Lord, and what does it mean to love the Lord? It means that you obey Him, no matter what, even you if obey. a gun is pointed to your head. Exactly. <laughs> Where was I going, uh, Prophet Zane? Yes, but that's one thing a servant of God is warning you. Hmm. But another thing, another thing is to read the Word of God. Because the Word of God, as I have pointed out in some videos, trying to educate you on the traits and how you can expose false prophets and false teachers, the Word of God tells us explicitly how to expose what's the traits, what will it do, how will it speak. The Lord Jesus said it, and the Apostle said it, and we also find uh, we also find uh, we can also read about this in the Old Covenant, in the Old Testament. You see? So, you claim to have the Word of God. You claim the blessing of the Word of God. You claim that you know you have insight into the Word of God. You do not know to interpret one passage in the Word of God when it comes to these fake prophets. And here, I think that when it comes to this, you need to begin to look yourself in the mirror. Or you should maybe think about putting aside the Word of God if you do not want to be serious with the Word of God, you see. Mm -hmm. You know where I'm going. Exactly. You understand where I'm going, Prophet mm -hmm. Reading, the Lord Jesus warned us about these wolves that they will put up on sheep clothing, that they will seem gentle, they will seem humble. Exactly. And many other things, the Apostle, Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter, he told us in details what they will say, what they will do. Mm -hmm. What about that part? Mm. Let, you, yeah. yeah. Let's go ahead. Uh, let, let T.D. Jack. We said T.D. Jack is not of God. They still protect him. Mm. The man still with men. You can't believe you, you pray, you, are, you sanctify yourself. And the man come and say, God bless you, touch you. He's lying, he's saying, almost, he's, he's touching you, do you wicked things, he's still with three, four men, do you get that? He's your pastor. And you are there, you don't have a shame, you don't see that you are, there are, you are lost your mind. You are not yourself anymore, you need deliverance. Mm. Do you understand what's happening here? I want to go back again. You people need to stand up in prayer, in the atmosphere, sometimes you pray many years, nothing's happening. There are... Things that stay in the atmosphere, realm of the spirit, can be birds, can be dog, can be snake. That the one blocking, you see, you are experiencing loneliness, you know, poverty, uh, uh, rejection. No matter, just name everything. Just name everything, people of God. I saw this, I saw people, and the man will say, This bird were falling down. Do you understand? That people that you go in the church, that will be the one blocking you. I am talking to you. You know when we say something to you, we say the truth. Do you understand? Stand up in the night. Mm. Stand up before you sleep. Pray intense. I saw with this. I saw people. And the man said, I remember many birds were expected to fall. They had them fall without the, the, uh, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Mm. They need, God needs you to open your mouth. They were fine. Birds. Mm. The birds that block your destiny. And then he said, you are not any more Christian. Instead of open, just leave it. Like the man of God said, read your Bible. Amen. Do not go around look for prophecy all the time. If you don't get the word of prophecy, you are not Christian. Well, open your heart to the word, to the Amen. correct teaching of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord told us that those that are susceptible to error, mm -hmm. to uh, to false teaching, mm -hmm. they will be susceptible to more. Is it's that, like you uh, open up. Oh, so you can also turn that. it around, <laughs> which I hope that you will do. If you open yourself to that which is of the truth. The truth. Not only the teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ, but if you begin to be suspicious as, oh, look at this T.D. Jakes. You mentioned T.D. Jakes. Oh my He's God. just one great this motivation. Tomorrow. He's a motivational speaker. <laughs> look at him. And you begin to be a little bit suspicious of that. But when I listen to his sermons, when I listen to the preaching of this man there, isn't it? Where is the evidence of the Holy Spirit? Where is the fire of the Holy Spirit? Where is the message of repentance? Where is the message of heaven and hell? Why is he only speaking this motivational speeches just like Joel Osteen and Joyce Meyer, all those people? When you begin to ask such questions, 
And moreover, bring those questions to the Lord. You are susceptible to that which is of the truth. And the Lord will add more understanding to your mind and to your heart. But you have, it has to start somewhere. You have to be, you have to make yourself susceptible. You have to open yourself up to the truth. If not, the Lord will not give you anything. Exactly. You see? As, and this is the same when the Lord Jesus said, I give to those that already have something. Exactly. Oh, it is mm -hmm. actually the same. You mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that you have a correct heart. Correct. At least Pure. begin Begin mm -hmm. to open yourself up to, begin to be suspicious, begin to ask questions, begin to also to use your brain. You are not only a spiritual being uh, floating around here, although the fake preachers have tried to teach you that, that you are just a, 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 a spiritual animal flying around and, and saying fire and fire to people, not using the wisdom that God has uh, intended you to have, you see. Mm -hmm. Be susceptible to the right things, to the truth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we welcome all of you. We can see many followers. Amen. Mm. Uh, you know, God time is the best. You know, you, you people lack entertainment. You need, you lack noise. You, need, you lack to have many lights. All this we come. Amen. Mm. As I said, we do not promote for the moment, for many years now. Uh, we want God time. Amen. And when you promote, you use uh, money. A lot of money. Uh, we are called by God, Amen. And we do not, we don't need to prove anything. The only, the only thing that we want is your heart, Amen. And we can see your heart. Mm. We see all of you. So the new one, welcome. We love you so much, Amen. Amen. You are welcome in this ministry. Amen. Yes, it's great to mm -hmm. to see that new people are mm -hmm. are following and mm -hmm. are interested in seeing what the Lord is doing, Amen. Amen. We want people to come. To know the Lord Jesus Christ, we mm -hmm. want people to be saved yes. first and foremost, so that they have their eternal life secured, so they can be with the Lord forever. Mm -hmm. And we need the people of God. We need also to pray for Israel, Amen. Hallelujah. For the people Amen. of God, mm -hmm. we know. I don't need to sit here and uh, attempt to educate uh, you on what is going on, exactly. but we need to pray for Israel. We need to pray for the politicians, for the IDF. Mm -hmm. We need to pray for the leadership. Mm -hmm. We need to pray for protection. And we need to pray for favor in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. It's terrible what is going on. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. The lies and the deceit and the propaganda that the world has uh, <coughs> taken part in. And that people are not ashamed to promote, you see. Mm -hmm. So we need to pray for the mighty hand of Hashem. Mm -hmm. Hashem is the name of the Lord for those that don't know in Hebraic. Mm -hmm. We need to pray for the hand of the Lord over the people of Israel and over the state of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So I think we close up and uh, see you next time, people of God. God bless you and strengthen you. If you don't have anything else to I say, have a, I want to thank uh, our followers since 20, 2017. Amen. You are still there. If this continues like that, we are going to reach 200,000 people Amen. soon. It means that, you know, the sheep of God do not make noise. Mm. Do you understand? You lack too much noise. They are deaf. 2017, they are still there. Mm. Amen. Also, those who left us because they were, you no. Know, when your heart is not solid mm. in the word of God, like you, you say, you, you name it, mm. uh, man of God, be in the word of God. They came back. Amen. Amen. In many events will come, come. The prophecy of 2024, no, to be honest, this case is a blessing year. It's a good year. But if you're a wicked person, mm. I, <laughs> you will do things in one walk. Not you know, so good. Not so good for you. You'll be a little bit hard. You'll begin to see that, no, God is really going, is, is really battling you. Mm. Do you understand? You don't need to be a fake prophet because people want to stay bad for the week and just fake prophet. No, I can be a weak, wicked person, mm. but I'm going to be like confronted and like exposed, or you know, walk the way if you, you know, if you, for example, if I'm a one kind of person in my working place, like to on the mass people, work on people, mm. this time will work. If you like to speak behind the back of people, you got to be like put to a shame. You're not many things. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You are wicked. Mm. Go, we do this, that, that, that. No, no, this year, I don't want to joke. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not, you will not tolerate things this mm. year. But because he want to bless people. This is here where God want to bless. I want to speak to Norway. I want to speak to America. This is here God going to put, like I say, 
if Norway is a wicked or making wicked or Palestine or the wicked won't go to suffer this year. Do you understand? So go on peace. I repeat, Russia, America, any country or country, no matter your power, your money, you have your nation, the only message that go on this around the world is peace. I repeat, it's peace. Do you understand? Go with free strength. You know, today uh, the new share of here about Norway uh, using 90,000 soldiers that are training to hit, uh, you know, or to intimidate Russia. Mm. It's wrong. Amen. Go want a message of peace. Try to negotiate diplomatic, mm. you know, peace. That we, we talked about that mm -hmm. in, the, mm -hmm. in the morning, uh, my wife, mm -hmm. in a kind of an amusing way. Because if you want to deter or you want to create fear in the other camp, mm -hmm. in this, for this case, is Norway trying to create fear in Russia or to deter them. I think they used the word in the Norwegian article, deter, to deter Russia. How, why would you share about it? You see, what kind of military strategy or strategy at all is it to expose what you intend to do before you are doing it to your opponent, to the one that you see as an enemy. And I don't think we should see Russia as an enemy. Do not, uh, do not um, mistake my words here. But this is what many people in Norway try to, try to do when they are, some people are afraid that Russia might attack us and, and so forth. But the case is that, particularly in the northern, in the all in the complete north region of Norway, we have collaboration with Russia because Russia, Sweden and, and Finland are connected together and bordered <coughs> up there in the north. So I think that we should take care of that relationship. Exactly. And uh, yeah, and we need we need peace as we need many other places, parts mm -hmm. of this world, peace. A so, message mm -hmm. of peace and mm -hmm. a situation of peace. Mm -hmm. And also as I mentioned when I say pray for mm -hmm. for Israel, pray for the for the Jews. Mm -hmm. We need peace down there mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Ukraine uh, needs uh, uh, peace. Amen. Amen. Of course. They have to have the message of peace, negotiation. Mm -hmm. Or the world has to refer or lead to peace. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Uh, because when you, we do politics, we have many parties. It doesn't mean Zelensky is not God in Ukraine. Do you understand that people against him that really actually want peace? We want peace. So when you pray for Ukraine, you pray for Russia and the world, mention peace. You will see wonderful things take place. Amen. Uh, we thank God for President Donald Trump. Uh, God going to vindicate him. You know, the shame in EOY. What is EOY? How do you pronounce this? EOY. We want EOY. Why you call this? Uh, oh, I don't have complete control on all 70 the. percent of the vote he got in the uh, mm. I don't know how to say, pronounce mm. it. Do you understand? He won. That man won 2020. But God is not uh, a man. He's going to show the world that President Donald Trump in fact won in 2020. Do you understand? What a wonderful thing. Mm. And we, we let pray for his health. They remain for because America will stand. Personally, yes. <laughs> Individually, personally, I'm looking forward for him to come back. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to that. And I think it will be good for the uh, American economy and for the world as well in mm -hmm. many ways. So, In peace. It will be great. Yeah. And if you see, if you look at all the ways the enemy have tried to, or his opponents then, mm. I will use that term, his opponents have tried to wipe him away or... <laughs> Take him uh, or to take him like to take him off the track or out of the game is uh, you can understand that is something spooky going on. Exactly, exactly. So it will be great. Mm -hmm. Many people will celebrate when he comes back and uh, mm -hmm. will also in I don't know. I think it will be very funny yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, the prophecy about the deportation it was 2017. Massive. I said for America, mm -hmm. and I said African people, Nigerian especially. Ay, ay, ay. Begin to spare your money. Begin to look at your family in, in uh, Nigeria. It will happen to all the world Mexicans, Ghana, the, the, the foreign people there. Even they give, gave you the paper, they will, watch, they will look into the paper that they gave to mm -hmm. them and they ask them to go home. We prophesy about it. Massive. And when America will start it, Europe will start it, Italy, Spain. Because they, they, because they fear. You know, people, the, the, the socialists, uh, 
put pressure on them. They will say you are racist, you don't like people, so they, they're afraid. People are losing their country. Africa must take care of the people, do you understand? We need also to use the money that we have on our people. Make our people go to school, people respect us. And then they won't even to go and build their life in Africa like we do when we go in, our, in Europe. Do you understand? They want God wants. But people don't listen, they don't want, they want easy way. They, they want everything that is easy, they want. Mm. That's what the fake prophet give them what is easy. It's not easy. Say amen. Africa will, will learn a lesson, they will take up the people by force. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. I think they should. They should take care of that great mm. continent and Fantastic. all those great, uh, beautiful nations they have in the African continent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And with all the resources they have in so many ways, it mm -hmm. could be a very much more beautiful place than what it is right now. And Fantastic. then I'm when I say beautiful place, I'm also are referring to prosperity. To you know, many people struggle with poverty and corruption in the system and mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. And also the nature and the climate is very beautiful. So, oh, a uh, very great potential. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we will wrap up this uh, video and see you next time, people of God. We love you. God bless you. God protect you. And as uh, we said, as Prophet Sandy said continue to pray for peace amen peace in the world peace uh, russia ukraine war peace israel and gaza and peace in each and every nation they amen. are just peace. like uh, things are boiling and cooking very much right now also mm -hmm. those nations like our own nation here in norway many things are going on and things that the uh, authorities don't even dare to tell the civilization there are many threats and anything can happen anytime. So we need prayer and we need protection from the Lord. Amen. 